assessor, or uh, all three office, all three commissioners, and county attorney president. Uh, first on agenda, Mayor Odell. Good morning. Good morning. Well, all these were televised. They're not just the evening ones. Oh, he's there. <laughs> hey, go <laughs> see. <laughs> I know the background. Yeah. Because I didn't even pay attention. Well, of course, you're flying. We're televised. We can but tell he's. Know. We can tell he's awake this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have any good news to bring. I, actually, we do. We've got a lot of things happening. Uh, I don't know if Mike's going to give a report or not, but we've got several things that are happening. Um, so we're going the right direction with some, hopefully, some jobs, uh, some housing, uh, put some debt in our housing crisis. Um, but what I'm really here to talk about and try to get ahead of is uh, our pending rate increase on both the water and sewer. So I just left the radio station, trying to get out ahead of it. I got a little more information the last couple of weeks on the sewer side of it. But bottom line is we haven't had any rate increases since 2009. Uh, in November, people will remember and, and we, we get contact or when people come through the drive through they still complain about the rate increase they did on the sewer back in November that hit in January. July and the, the third phase of it will be next January, three months from now in January. That was uh, really to secure a seven million dollar mandate that the, the previous administration did uh, out of the sewer site. Um, ultimately, there's no way around it. We're going to have a new sewer plant, thirty-five million bucks. Um, the first phase was delivered to me two weeks ago uh, as being around 20 million. I'm hoping to get that broke up a little bit further where we can maybe do 20 million over the next four or five years and then work toward the other 15. However, the 20 million is a step toward a new plan. The other option they were giving me is if I want to do what has been done in the past, put another band aid on it, it'd be, another, it'd be 8 million. Uh, so that's a cheaper approach, but it's so it's throwing money down the drain, and I'm not going to do that. Uh, we need a new plant. We know we need a new plant, so we're going to start working toward it. I don't know how the rates are going to reflect that. It's going to be significant because um, your rates are based on your current use to secure the bond, of course. The water side of it, we are running about half of what the state average is, and when we get said and done, unfortunately, we're going to be about the state average. That means we're going to have a 100% increase in the water. Um, and 75 you told me one time what what was the state average you told me around 30, 30, uh, 30 million to 40 30 on a 4,000 gallon user right now we're at 1888 and have been since uh, uh, 2009 and had we done what most municipalities do and have a certain percentage rate increase each year and it's usually three to five percent so I went back and took four percent on top of each year since 09 we'd have been at state average mm -hmm. which is where I'm going to have to be now had we done that, though, I would, we probably wouldn't need to be that high because we were, would have accumulated cash to be able to put towards projects. Uh, same way on the sewer side. When we lost Dean Food, we lost a lot of cash flow. And those utilities are standalone utilities. They have to cash flow themselves. So when we lost that, at the very least, we should start doing rate increases at that point to offset that loss. So we have no cash to put toward need and certainly toward growth. 75% of our rate increase will be toward need, either the plant or working on uh, uh, upgrading pods in different places around town. The other 25% would be looking mostly toward the extension uh, out into the industrial park area south of 31. We do have some positive leads there that we're working on. So we do see growth. We're trying to not only replace the, the usage that Dean's was providing us, but also the jobs. They were, I think they were around 120, if I remember right, and you know we we've got some better, bigger, and better leads than that. I don't know much about the possibilities there because uh, I don't have any details of the company, but there is something that we're looking at that would, could be significant. So, um, unfortunately, that's what's been left in my lap to deal with, and I'm going to deal with it. We have to. Uh, we really don't have any choice. The water tower will be a decent expense. Uh, we've been sh short water in the air based on the state statutes uh, for some time. Uh, they, they undersize every tower we have. I'm not going to do that. The cheapest gallon you put in the air is, on, is the step up. I mean, to get by, we could put a half million gallon water tower up, and that'll get us right where we need to be. No room for growth. But I'm looking at a 750,000 gallon tank, and that last 250,000 gallon uh, is $4 a gallon. The first 500,000 is $7 a gallon. And 
construction costs. So it's like building the green bin. You build bigger, mm -hmm. the last bushel you're adding to it are cheaper. cheaper. So it just makes sense. But unfortunately, uh, we didn't build the ones we have big enough, so that's going to be part of the project. But I want to try and get out of, in front of it. Uh, I regret it, but it is what it is, and I've got to act on it. At the same time, we're trying to counter some of those uh, increased costs to people by trying to look at options for uh, cheaper food. Uh, talked with all these. Mike hasn't had much response from them. Uh, I'm, I've put an email out to a couple different uh, possibilities. Haven't heard back from them either. I uh, would love to be able to give people an option, especially the ones that are living paycheck to paycheck, uh, uh, an option to where uh, they can hopefully lower their cost of living some uh, to help them. It, it could more than offset uh, the rate increases, but unfortunately that's where we're at. I want to be out in front of it with people. Sorry, but uh, I'm trying to do everything I can to, to help. Like I said, uh, I'll set that, but it's going to be, gonna be uh, a challenge, but like I said, 75% is just a need, and we can't have any growth to help. And, you know, I know many municipalities, most municipalities, when they have a rate increase, they never back it off. I know there's been one that did, once they started getting some growth, they were able to back their rates off. That's my hope. Um, so we'll see. But it's too, too early to promise that. So do you have any questions? No, we appreciate that. Thanks. Appreciate that. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, Brad, did you have something for Woodlawn? You're or are you just here for. I'm just here to see how things are going, guys. <laughs> <laughs> just say howdy. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we have a Woodlawn appointment uh, we need to make here, so we can do that now. Uh, <clears throat> we've got three uh, very talented, uh, qualified individuals. So, do I have a motion for? One of those individuals yes i would like to make a few comments first like like you say we got three good candidates i mean every, every, any of them would be great to be on the board um, so it, it was a hard pick but uh, woodlawn did recommend one they liked over the other one so um, that was kendra shedinsky so with that in mind uh, I, i'll make the motion for kendra shedinsky but i'd like the other two to if we ever have any board appointments to get on the list and get with Woodlawn Hospital and try to, you know, get a good fit in there because um, we like to have a couple candidates to choose from from every time. We appreciate it. But Kendra Sabinski would be mine. It, that's because Woodlawn, that's who they recommended because of the insurance side of it. I'll second that one. Okay. All right. Uh, we have a motion second. 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 Motion and a second for Kendra. All in favor? That motion carries three out. So, but I guess you'll let the, yep, I can let the administrative team know and, right. and send a message out to the board as well. All right, good. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have a, a burn van uh, before us again. So um, I guess it's the same as the last one except for the, uh, uh, the school and the uh, – Trail of Courage, Trail of Courage. So, uh, does anybody want that red? <laughs> yeah, no. I think it's needed because the fact we had, well, I know Cass County had five fires here yesterday. Yeah. And I know a couple farmers that had, they were able to get them put out. Had some fires and we just, I hate to see fields, standing fields of corn go up because of a spark blows over from the trash fire or gas, or from, Cookouts or things like that. So I think we need it. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay. Anybody else have any comment on Travis or anybody? Okay. All right. Well, we have this burn ban. It'll be uh, if it passes from this morning until further notice. That. I'll make a motion to put that burn ban in place. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, no other questions, comments? I'll indicate her. Uh, <laughs> All in favor. It's a Monday morning. All in favor? All right. That passes 3 0. I know from our perspective, I had my last major, my last rain was the second week of August. So it's 
the southern part of the county is extremely dry. <laughs> Okay, uh, department updates, uh, John Geyer Highway. Good morning. Good morning, John. Start out with a couple permit requests. Uh, first one is from McGrew Well Drilling. They're requesting a permit for a new driveway at 7794 South, 100 West. We don't need any culverts there. Okay, check it out. Everything looks good. All right. I need a motion then to approve permit 2439. So moved. Second. All in favor? Action carries through. Next one's permit request 2440. Uh, Pyramid uh, Network Services is requesting a driveway permit 640 feet east of County Road 1100 West on County Road 600 North. Uh, again, there's no permit needed. We checked it out. No culvert? No, or, I'm sorry, no culvert. Yeah. <laughs> Need the permit. No culvert. It's Monday. It <laughs> is. Definitely a Monday. Okay, I'm here to take a motion uh, to approve 2440. So moved. Second. All in favor? That motion carries through. And the third one is permit requests uh, 2441. Wabash Valley Power Association is requesting. Two temporary construction entrances on County Road 200 North, 500 feet east of Petty Drive, one on the north side, one on the south side. Uh, these will be temporary. They'll put stone and timber mats down while they're doing construction, then they'll take them back out. You're all right with all that, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, entertain motion for permit number 2441. <coughs> uh, so moved. Second. All in favor? Motion carries through. Um, pretty up to date. The guys have been patching, running brush cutter. Uh, the big project they're on right now is shouldering the roads. They're over in Albany Township with the community crossing the shoulder. Uh, in Graydon, uh, they've done a little bit of that, but it's getting so dry they can't cut roads anymore. So, um, Community crossing projects, they've been, the paving part's been done, Brooks has done. There's a couple little blemishes on 400. Have to come back and address but for the most part. They're pretty well done. Um, the highway shop, I think you guys have all seen it. It's been insulated and the work's done on it. Looks nice. Major improvement. Um, next thing I had, I want to set a date for fall bids. Uh, last year we did November 3rd. If you want to stay with a Friday, we could do the first date. 15th or the 22nd. Right, sounds good to me. It, yeah. Okay. I, I know I do the first. I can't be here. Okay. How about the 8th? Does that work for everybody? I'm good on the 8th. Okay. A few for the 8th. And you want to do, what do we usually do? 10 30 and 30? 10 30. Okay. Uh, get the notice is sent out and get it advertised. Um, the only other thing I really have, you'll see two appropriations uh, for the building repairs. You've seen one last time, but we scratched that. And we've done things different. So you'll see two to pay for the building at Kiwana and the building at Rochester here, the shop work I just talked about. The roof at Kiwana is done also. Um, and then the only other thing I had was uh, you'll see a travel request sometime for a commissioner's conference for John and I to attend. So, and I do have you guys, you guys, uh, between Kathy and myself, you guys are registered in your rooms or set up, so. Okay. okay. Sounds good. That's all I have. Um, quickly, on the 31 north of the bridge, mm -hmm. they were gonna redo the, uh, their, their, con their Yes. Uh, What's their status on that? I haven't heard anything from them. I can check on that. Well, I'm just curious if they yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, they're supposed to move all the those boxes and stuff are too close. Uh, they told me that they'll move the pedestals back, but they'll leave the cable where it is. <laughs> I guess it's I just, guess it did like it's it. not a major line, it's just to feed that power station up there. So they said if it ever goes bad, or 
instead of tearing the road up, you know, because if we expand the road, they would just build another line. So. Okay, I just carry it. Yeah. Yep, all right. Thanks, John. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah. By the way, the buildings do look great. Yeah. Major needed improvement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carrie, your maintenance, anything? Uh, only thing I got is that the LED lights are all done in the courthouse now, and the boiler is up and running, the new boiler is up and running, and going good. Good deal. And uh, the lighting will be here next, and I'll start having them go through each individual office and get the LED lights lit. Okay. Good. Only thing I got on Unless you guys got anything for me. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. Chad, maybe it's Chad. Uh, the only thing I have is they're supposed to start site prep this week. Good. I know they told me that a month ago, but we'll see if they show up. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So, okay. Dawn. Trailer Courage with equipment. We assisted with um, Kiwana with equipment. Um, those two things were successful with all of our equipment that we sent out to them. Um, I have now completed for myself for our grants um, our three and four, my three and four hundred training for our EMPG grants. So we'll go forward with that from now on. Uh, all your meeting last week, we had new shirts donated. So we all got new shirts through EMA, through a digital, and donated all the volunteers new shirts. So that was greatly appreciated. I have an EMA board meeting. Anybody interested? This Wednesday at nine, the ninth at ten. There's an LEPC board meeting the same day at six. We are assisting in the chili cook-off um, with parking of their cars that come in for the show. We're going to be down there at six o'clock. Saturday morning for the chili cookout. Um, the other thing I have here is we did have the other burn ban between the last meeting and this meeting, the new burn ban today, which will go on Web EOC for acknowledgement, and then um, we'll get it out to the radio station and so on and so forth for the burn ban as soon as we're out of meeting here. The last thing I have is um, we had put in for a um, We've got the grant money setting in the account. It needs to be used by November for building updates and stuff on our building. The money's there. The only bid we had come in was from Burns. So um, that is to replace all the windows, the drawers, um, and we're still going to have a little bit left over, so I'm going to have them do some garage door openers for the trucks. And stuff like that. So they're the only ones who give us a bid on coming in. They're the ones who put the original building up. And I guess to do those windows, they have to pull the sheeting back, get into the windows, and then put it back in. So just the way the building was constructed. So. Um, and that was a grant to pay for the whole thing of that. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? I thought yep. that was okay. That's awesome. Yeah. And the yeah. grants okay with you only having one bid? I I'll have to check that. Check that. So sometimes they like two bids on that. So so make sure you okay. check. Okay. I will like. check that because that's new. And if you have to get it rolling by November, get it get it going, right, Brian? Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Um, the only other thing I have is I to do the three and four hundred. I was a week in Fort Wayne two weeks ago, and then I have my conference for EMAI coming up the week of the fourteenth through the eighteenth. Um, our group of volunteers for Fulton County wonderful in picking up the slack when I'm out. Um, and then I did have during that week another run come in that I handled by phone um, with the commissioners and took care of that issue also. So anything I have come up, my volunteers, my uh, secretary for the volunteers, president for the volunteers uh, are wonderful about helping out on the boots on the ground for me. So I can't take the calls. I step out of the classes and take care of those for you guys. So anything for me? 
I don't believe so. Thank okay. you, Dawn, for everything you're doing. No problem. All right, All right Travis, sure. I don't have a whole lot. Never do, right? <laughs> Our jail population this morning was 132. Um, I think for the first time since I've been sheriff, our fleet, our entire fleet is on the road. Uh, we don't have any during as a shot right now. So I <laughs> figured I'd go ahead and announce that. That way when they all start falling apart. You know you have changed it. We'd, 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 we'd have, have it on record at least. Yeah. So. Um, I did go ahead and appoint Amber Molinar as the uh, jail matron to replace Jody Miller. Um, her effective date will be today. Um, so I'm asking for permission then from you guys to go ahead and post the secretary's position that Amber will vacate as matron. You guys agree with that? Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's all I've got. Any questions for me or anything? You really did have much. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 right. That's okay. good. So you may be on the record today. Oh man. Good. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Travis. Thanks. All right. Uh, Michael, let's go. Morning, Michael. I'll start with the important stuff. Uh, Pizza Hut didn't close and moved over to Rochester Plaza. And no. Culver's has shown no interest in coming in. <laughs> Way to be a Debbie Downer. Isn't you know, have no idea. I'm <laughs> bumping all the fish. That's a big rumor last week. Yeah, well, I just learned that the entire high school is on fire about Culver's. So. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the hotel study is complete. I'm reading it. Uh, that's quote unquote the executive summary, which is pretty small on it. The report is very, very good. Um, we scored a 96 out of a 100. And according to uh, the people who put the study together, <clears throat> that's one of the best scores they've ever seen. Um, we're looking at getting uh, a company in uh, by Wednesday to have a conversation with uh, some people about whether or not uh, we can drum up some investors <clears throat> into it. Um, it looks pretty good, it looks fine. Uh, of course, hotel sites are down out around the in intersection, of mm. course. Uh, there was some discussion for a while using the site of the old jail, uh, but that's been dropped for other reasons. So uh, we'll be looking out there into that area where the housing units are too on top of it. Uh, where the, obviously the industrial park idea is going. Uh, switch over to the industrial park. I've had a conversation, the final report with Banning Engineering, which was our tabletop study. Uh, they like that site. We're talk we've been talking a little bit about whether or not to uh, put some, uh, re rework some of the intersections out there, maybe put a new one in, which is not going to happen. So we're looking at maybe a revamped 100 South uh, we have to get to some of that property that's landlocked right now. <laughs> and so uh, we've talked with Jim a little bit about uh, maybe coming down 100 South up behind his property and running a road up into the Gromberg property at some point maybe. Uh, but right now we're really dealing with what's south of 100 and uh, moving right along. I've uh, found out that the Indiana Bond Bank is offering 1% loans for communities like ours who cannot quite reach uh, the total match funds. I've talked to Trent about all of this. Uh, I'm talking with Heidi Paul about a uh, supply maybe uh, for a loan um, to get to that final match because we are a little bit short, but not enough to hurt us. So uh, I expect the Ready 2 funds to uh, at the project to be submitted sometime in the near future. The uh, Little Zebbies program has been submitted, the child care program, to the state, and uh, we're waiting on them to make their final decision. I don't have a problem saying that I think that that decision will be made favorably and we'll see that money come in. It's just a question of when they want to do it. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Oh, uh, if it's not already done by last Friday, um, the gas is in at Nipsco, or it will be by the end of the week. Blackner. Yeah, Blackner. I'm sorry. 
It's money. The good thing is I got the final bill for them, so uh, we'll get that paid, and uh, hopefully we can start selling lots. I can, I'll tell you, I've got somebody who's interested in four of the lots, two companies. Um, it's been negotiations have been dragging on for quite some time, so I'm not going to hold out a whole bunch of hope right now. I do know in one of the projects, uh, another state's involved, uh, but um, we seem to have the lead at the moment out there. So once things develop, uh, I'll be able to say a little bit more about what that's all about. And um, at this point, I think that's about the end of it. The, the, uh 1% loan through the the bond bank, that's through the treasurer of the state of Indiana, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's one I, you know, I mean, it's a question we, about last yeah. year. Okay. we want to talk with them about, uh, about that and see if it's worthwhile going for. Uh, I hate to commit anybody or this, this city or anything to a project like that until, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to know that we've got the industrial park money coming for sure sure because it's all speculative at this point so yeah. you know it's what it is so um, yeah. we'll go from there okay thank you Michael. That's good. Thanks, Michael. okay um you guys look over travel requests any questions on those i didn't say i didn't have any yet mm -hmm. we can sign those afterwards we yeah. have the uh minutes for September 16th. Any corrections or anything with that? I didn't see any. Okay, I entertain a motion to approve the September 16th minutes for the commission meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Motion carries 3 0. Financials. Have you guys had a chance to go over any questions or concerns on claims, transfers, appropriations? Didn't see any. Okay, we have payroll for 920 24 for $209,071.72, a deduction of $122,184.95. We have insurance claim docket <coughs> for uh, disbursements from 9.5 to 9.25 of $81,033.98. We have a uh, credit card ending on 9.13 of $6,430.09. We have uh, the Riverboat distributions one and two. For one hundred fifteen thousand six hundred twenty-seven dollars and eight cents. Um, we have a refund uh, to the city of Rochester for community crossings grant. Uh, it was incorrectly paid to us at forty-three thousand two hundred twenty-six dollars. Mr. thank you. Uh, no, right. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, solid waste host fees, $33,333.33. Um, we've got utilities for $21,498.85. The wheel tax, $51,191.37. Miscellaneous claims for October 7th, $959,348.70. Got payroll for 10 $275,223.54 with a deduction of $99,179.45.
for the transfers. Uh, <coughs> for uh, from the commissioners for exam rec from exam records to contract at six thousand uh, dollars to pay for their strategic services. Communications, uh, $10,000 from health insurance to overtime. And additional, funding, additional funding for the remainder of the year. We have the drainage board. Um, $7,900 from continuing ed, engineering, and legal to office supply. Office equipment. You know, from maintenance and equipment to monuments and uh, signs for section corners and various stuff like that. Another one from the surveyor. Uh, 400 from oil and lube, 100 from surveyor seminar, $294.58 uh, photo and blueprint. And hundred dollars for road school, two office supplies and signs, monuments and signs. It's like they're busy down there. I know they was having some problem with computers and mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And we have the prosecutor's office, five hundred eleven dollars from office supply and two postage. Appropriation from the sheriff, uh, $50,000 uh, for garage and motor. Let's get a budget shortfall. And, uh, highway mechanic, $69,000. Repair building and equipment. And, uh, highway mechanic, $67,500 for repair building and equipment. Do you have your paperwork for your transpo to sign? No. You guys yeah. saw that his yeah. That's what I'm turning in. This okay. Quarter. Yeah, I don't have I don't have it here for some reason, but we'll, we'll I want to make sure it's approved. So you guys have seen that. We'll approve that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's ninety-three thousand, I think. Yeah. I just want to make sure that's that way right. we can sign it for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you know. We'll probably have to do it like we did last time at the next meeting. I'll just bring it in for you guys to sign. Okay. Oh, we've seen it. Yeah, we'll yeah, let's get it to the next one. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any report, Doug? I have a little report. Okay. You know, for what we did for the quarter. Yeah. I'll uh, catch you here. Uh, we had uh, 3,854 seniors, uh, 3,104 public, for a total of 6,958. Out of that, 2,168 were county trips. Uh, we drove 49,416 miles, worked uh, 3,582.7, and we used 3,285.7 gallons of fuel. Our gross income for the quarter was 44,477.64. Expenses were $164,915, with the claim amount will be 93,605. 
Thanks, Doug. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Miss anybody on? Okay, any old business, Rick? No, I don't believe so. Dave? Um, uh, I was talking with on the uh, new website. Uh, looks like it's going to be a launch probably January 1 on it. Rather than launching halfway, we want to get everything all completely set up and going. And so I know I met with Devin, Josh, and Kathy last week okay. <clears throat> things are looking good on it and they could have a partial rollout but we kind of decided that rather than just have a partial and then have to keep adding in so we do just once one move and but the website will come out and be up and running by first year good deal comment on a few things. Uh, we was at a conference a couple weeks ago, AIC, and they said uh, a couple things to watch out for in this session of the Indiana General, General Assembly is funding. Uh, there's a lot of funding stuff that's going to be happening Happening this thing. One of them is road funding. That's a big push now because uh, gas usage is way down, so the road funding is way down. Um, they're looking at a bunch of different options. Nobody knows what's going to come out of it. Um, and even some of the funding sources, they said, you know, you got people that's wanting to, you know, you probably heard ax the tax, ax this tax, and do that, do that. So they said they don't know what's going to come, but they, you need to be watching, especially the councils, uh, with your funding sources, whether they switch them to something else, whether they keep them the same, or how they do it. Um, so <clears throat> that is a big push. I know why we was down there. We met with Jason Simler from uh, Baker Tilly. Um, was discussing some of that stuff. I know Miami County was with us. They got some issues. They they're going to talk to him about. Um, I told Jason to give us uh, an itemized summary of, of some work that might be possibility. I know one thing is the new TIF. Oh, TIF. The city's doing one. Uh, TIF spending program or TIF spending plan that has to be done by the 1st of December and I know Heidi's doing it for for Tramp for the city okay. um, so we've got to make sure we get that done is, is one thing um, which is coming up pretty quick um, it's something new this year uh, so but anyhow long story short I, I had Jason is supposed to be getting with us, sending some send emails out. I'll make sure everybody gets them. If you, if you know the council don't get them or everybody don't get them on some proposals of, you know, if we wanted him to do that, that TIF spending program with it, if it ain't already done by the auditor, um, you know, some stuff like that. Maybe some, some uh, getting the auditor staff retrained at the first of the year as Kathy comes in, make sure everybody's on board, what deadlines needs to be met, so on and so on. Maybe with your new council coming in, maybe some of them, a few hours of, uh, talking to them, what deadlines, what you look for, what you need to. But anyhow, he'll list them all out and we can pick and choose or see if we want any of them or not. So. Dave, any old or new from oh. Okay. Uh, public comment? Anybody have anything? Anything goes to recess. So moved. Second. All favor? Motion carries through. Less than 40 minutes.